Hey everyone, Uncle Kenta here. I'm going to do a video about my ordeal with a broken Western Digital external hard drive. This is a uh, MyBook Elite. It's a couple years old. I got it at Costco. And I had a little problem the past few days. Uh, the USB port, which used to be here, broke inside this enclosure and apparently a lot of people are having this problem so I'm gonna make a little video about it uh, because I came up with a solution and wanted to share that because there's a lot of frustrated people out there I did a lot of research online about this and um, here's my the model number of the unit I have so what happened is I went to Go plug it in and that the USB port broke off and I thought well I will just crack open the enclosure and take the bare drive out of it right and plug it into my computer directly and thought I'd be fine and to get the enclosure open you just when uh, you know this is already open but you just start on this edge and take a screwdriver and start prying and just gently wedge it and turn it until it starts popping apart. And you'll do the other side, right? Do the other side until this comes apart. And you have two pieces here. And the drive was sitting in here with a bunch of other parts, okay? So that's how you get it apart. You just need to pry this this portion off of it with a screwdriver. Start carefully and just, it'll start cracking and popping and it'll come off. Um... Well, the reason is this is empty, so um, I took the hard drive out, right? And I thought, oh, I'll just disconnect it from this board. Um, I put, I took this hard drive, right? I took this controller board off, and I plugged it in directly to my computer with one of the SATA cables. I don't have a spare one here, but power cable, SATA cable, and like the rest of the hard drives, I thought the drive would just show me my files. Well, uh, it didn't. The operating system acted like there was no partition on that hard drive because Western Digital purposely makes it so that you cannot take this bare drive out of their enclosures and use it in anything else. And after a bunch of research, I found this out and was very disappointed. So if we go to disk, right? Look here, it's asking to initialize the disk. It's it's recognizing this disk, which is plugged in via USB, right? Um, except I can't see it. So you do not want to initialize and reformat your disk because you're going to overwrite all your data. So here's, I got a bunch of hard drives in here, but here's the one. <clears throat> Here, here's this drive, unallocated, right? Unknown. It's a one terabyte, right? Unallocated. So what I have read some people end up doing, they, they say, oh, I'll initialize it, and, and it starts formatting. They create a new partition, and now they've just overwritten all their data. So don't do that. Turn this light out. Reflection. All right. That's all right. Yeah, don't repartition it. So at this point, this was three days ago, I thought my all my data was gone. So, and uh, if you see, if you go to Device Manager, look, it, it shows that there's, that drive is connected via USB. There's that, and there's that. It's there, but if you go to uh, the computer, this is not any of these drives, right? And look at this. This pops up, but when you click that, you get this. Where is it? It's not opening. Where is it? You get this, right? Run. Come on, hurry up. Where is it? Uh, 
Oh, I wanted to show you that, but it's not uh, it's not popping up. Hold on. I'm not gonna have to edit this video, damn it. Well, it's not popping up, but this does nothing either. This does not give me access to the drive. So here's the solution. What I ended up doing here is the port that broke off. It's it's this one here. It's the the tiny little USB port, right? It broke off from the circuit board, which is their Western Digital's proprietary board, which either encrypts it or makes it impossible to use this drive in any other device, which is horrible. What a stupid thing. Yeah, they say encryption protecting my data, but if if this port breaks, you are screwed. So I thought I was screwed. That whole thing was broken off. So I took it to a, a local repair shop, like a cell phone repair, and, there's, and asked him if the guy knew how to solder really well because I saw a video online that this was even possible. And I don't know. I'm not an expert in this about soldering these boards. I saw this guy's video here, this guy, and he has a great video. And I saw him do this, which gave me the idea here. This is not a... This is not a Western digital board. It's just some circuit board. But I saw him soldering on this. I thought, well, maybe this is possible, which gave me the idea. Take it in and get this little sucker uh, soldered back on. Um, this is the power cable, right? This is the USB. So these two ports were what used to be over here, right? That right there. That's the USB port, and that sucker broke off inside. So I cracked it open, and I still don't have access to my data. And so he soldered it back on, plugged it in, you know, USB, power, still no data. And I was like, oh, man, what a bummer. So the guy at the repair shop suggested we could try a data recovery. And that's what a lot of other people um, online. Here's a page. If you Google this title here, uh, you can read this article about people desperate trying to fix this. One guy bought one on eBay. <laughs> um, another guy. Look here. This guy showing up as unallocated. So this guy had the same problem. This was, uh, that was three years ago. This is 2016. Here's the guy doing the same thing I tried. Um, he found, a, he actually replaced his circuit board. Um, took him a month to get it from China. And uh, he was able to uh, um, get his fixed by replacing the, the board here. Um, and But in my case, what I did once that sucker was soldered back on, um, I delicately plugged it back in and it's been sitting here. Um, I, I propped up the drive a little bit on a couple of dog biscuits here, which are perfect. So that was sitting, so it's not uh, bending here because the circuit board plugs in to the SATA power and SATA, SATA cable uh, right here. So this pulls off and I'll show you that in a little bit. So, continue, oops, sorry. continuing the story, uh, at that point, I had read a couple other people. Uh, here's the Western Digital Discussion Board talking about, uh, you know, look, this is a known problem. Been going on for a long time. Um, talking about encryption that they use to make it impossible for you to use your drive in any other device, which I think is insane. I think you should be able to go and buy a aftermarket enclosure and get your drive back at least, if not plug the damn drive into any computer internally and get it to work. Thanks a lot, Western Digital. Here's another guy, uh, another article. Let me Google this one if this might help people. Um, people on eBay selling <laughs> the, the boards, but I haven't if you look, uh, uh, there's a serial numbers on the boards. You have to get the exact one. And these things are in, in China, and it would take a month to get. Uh, and I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to do this. Here's a company I found that sells them. But look, they're 35 70 bucks. There's a bunch of different ones. I have no idea 
uh, if you can, if I could even get the right model number, I'm like, I don't want it. This is insane. So this is this, a lot of people were helped with this. They got their, their board and plugged it in and it worked for them. Some did not. Uh, what else did I want to show you? Showed you that guy. So here's what I did at this point. Once I'm, I see that this drive is showing up unallocated, right? Where is it? There it is. I'm like, damn. So at this point, it's plugged in. It's powered. Obviously, the uh, Windows is seeing it in the device manager. So I thought, oh, all right, I'll try some data recovery. And the first one I Googled was Wondershare uh, data recovery. You see that there. Um, and so what happened was... I let I, I I loaded that software up. Let me open it up real quick. Hold on. Oh, here it is. So we're going to open that up, and I saved that scan. So here here's the software. You'll run through it. It says next. I picked all file types. All right, and I'm not going to do the scan again. And I said, where did you lose your files? Uh, I said, I cannot find my partitions. Um, and then next. Ah, yeah. And so it says, select a physical drive to search partitions. And hey, look at this. Look what's here. So Wondershare can see it. But Windows or anything else cannot. And enable quick scan. I think I left that checked and then clicked next. And I think it starts scanning. Oh no, be another screen. Select partition. And look at this partition one. There it is. And at this point, I'm like, oh, finally, I see something that resembles my data is on the drive. And I'm not going to start it because um, it'll start scanning. And it took, what was that? It took a good, I think it was 12 hours um, to do that scan overnight. So I let that run. And what I ended up with is uh, a scan. And I, I saved the scan. Where is it? Uh, hang on, hang on. About, maybe I have to start over here. Was that? Why is this open? I don't know. So re reopen Wondershare. Stand if you don't want to use this withered standard mode. Let's resume a recovery. Uh, let's try that. Aha! Uh -huh. Where did I put that? Hang on, guys. Uh, I saved that scan somewhere. I think it was just in my backs. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. So after that scan had run, um, let's, see, let's open that up. Check this out. Um, so here was the results after, oh man, it's loading that up. So keep in mind, this took 14 hours to get this scan to this point. I saved that scan in Wondershare and check it out. I'm not going to, I'm going to back up so you don't see all my folder names, but there's my folders. And at this point, let's see, uh, let me pull up a, uh, a image. Cause at, at this point I went into a file where I, I knew I had some old photographs and okay. So here, so I pull, I, I click on a folder. And look at that. See, you see a preview of an image. And at that point I knew, ah, oh, the software can see all my photographs, which was the, I have, I have photographs, digital images going back to 2007, which I know I should have had a second. That's another story. Should have had a second backup. But um, at this point you can then select all your files that you want to back up and say recover. So let's just do one. I don't want ever to do everything again. So I'm going to do this one file. There's another image. And so you click recover. So at this point, we've the, the Wondershare has done the really long scan, right? That took overnight. I, I saved that scan and we just reloaded it, right? 
and I'll do a, a, one, a single file. I recovered everything to a new hard drive internally, but just to show you how this works, I said recover. It asks you, okay, where do you want to save it? And I'll save it, uh, uh, let's see, just put it anywhere. Put it on, you click recover, boop, there it goes, and it gives you, uh, on that drive, it'll give you uh, uh, this folder here, right? And when you go in there, whatever files you selected in the software to recover, in the folders, look, there's that image. It's good to go. So, wow, what a relief. So I just wanted to share this video with you guys. Uh, I'm sure there's other people who are going to have this issue with these stupid Western Digital external hard drives. Can't trust them. Uh, if that, if that's a single point of failure, these, these little ports here, for something so important. Um, yes, you should always have a second backup. Uh, like I said, that's another story that uh, one of those drives went bad and I had some data that I, I didn't have a second backup at that point. So you can't trust these things. Um, weak point, again, these little tiny little things connected to the circuit board. Oh, I was going to take this apart for you. I'll show you the rest of it. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's unplug the USB. And pull that off carefully. And plug the power. Not tearing the rest of it apart. I'm good to go. I can I can toss this now. It's my data safe. So this thing on the elite board, it had this little thing that goes to the front, the ribbon cable there, which is just hanging on for dear life. Um, so I somehow maintained that without breaking that off during the whole deal. And this just comes off here, right? This controller board. So you just pull that off. And there's the SATA connectors. So this is just a plain old hard drive now, right? So here's this bloody controller board, which I can throw out now, so I don't care right now anymore about it. That's the back of it, right? So that connects to the hard drive. That's what the focus is. That connects to the hard drive. And here's the ports. So, you know, that is that there and then the power is there and let's take a look if i can zoom in clean this lens hang on let's see if we can zoom in here come on focus try and get a Why is it so blurry? There. So you can see where he resoldered that thing back on for me. What a delicate job, but it's doable. I couldn't have done that. It's just so tiny. You got to know what you're doing and have the right tools to do that. So it's uh, it's that right there. Those five little tiny hairs going into the circuit board. And then the feet on this thing here, sorry, that's not focusing on the feet on there's four feet and one of them has a ground on it. I don't know which one, but this, these tiny little USB things. So just wanted to share that with you and maybe that'll help someone else get their data back. Uh, you know, solder that thing back on if it's not too if the circuit board's not too damaged and you can get a connection and if it still shows up as unallocated on your operating system use a data recovery software um, I just happened the first one I picked on Google was Wondershare and it just happened to work so hopefully this will help someone else what a disaster what a mess and uh you know, always do your backups, have a couple copies, need more than one, but you cannot trust a single uh, external hard drive for all your backups. And I already knew that. I just, I got lazy and uh, 
it happened. So that's all. Good luck. Hope this helps somebody else. And uh, think twice before you uh, rely on these Western Digital external hard drives. They are no good for being able to take your hard drive and just plug it into the computer. This is useless for the with the data that's on it now. I can't just plug this into any old computer. It shows up un unallocated. Uh, I'm sure I can plug it in, reformat it now that I got anything. I'm sure the drive is just fine. So I will do that and still use it, but internally, but I am never going to buy a Western Digital external hard drive again. No way. I think, uh, actually, I think I saw in the news there was some class action lawsuit on Seagate for their external hard drives. I'm going to look more into that too. But anyway, that's it.